Hi guys, I told you guys that I would probably stop by this cemetery, and so I did. Uh, it's almost about 20 till 6. It's kind of loud because there's um, a lot of traffic now. I guess a lot of people are going home, getting ready for supper, or that kind of thing. As you can see, it's an older cemetery, Hickory Grove Cemetery. I'm not really sure if it's affiliated with any church. Um, most are. This one seems to be pretty much abandoned to the point that uh, a lot of the stones are uh, really to fend for themselves, you know, against the elements. As you can see here, this little drive here, there's only one drive and it goes up a hill, which you can see the whole cemetery is really high and dry, which is really a good thing for cemeteries. As with a lot of cemeteries, the uh, landscaping is usually evergrown. In this case, it looks like an evergreen tree, which um, has some really gnarly limbs on it. Uh, it's easy to understand why, you know, people look at place, such places and think, you know, they're real creepy, when in fact, they really shouldn't be. They should be places where people go, come to, as often they do, in a park. Uh, in Victorian times, it was known that uh, cemeteries were a great place for a picnic, a place to uh, be with uh, friends and family, and um, really good vibes and camaraderie. Today, <laughs> like with a lot of the people in these um, crypts, uh, they're just basically forgotten, which is really sad. I also mentioned uh, in the post yesterday there was one stone that looked like um, it had Jack Daniels beside it and it does look like a confederate flag. And um, a bottle of uh, Jack Daniels here. It's like a swig has been taken out of it. And uh, the person here, it's really hard to see unless I uh, did a rubbing on this stone. But it does appear to be... hmm. You see, dead who die in the Lord is all I can read on this one. It's right up against a, looks like a, uh, an azalea bush. Hopefully it blooms. It makes this place a little bit more palatable. This very applied appears to be relatively old, yet uh, there's no stones inside the um, enclosing. Which would lead me to believe that they've been misplaced and um, a lot of history simply disappears when things like this happen. Also, it appears to be several above ground looking monuments or crypts. Not really sure how the burial happens in this. I'm assuming that uh, it is an above the ground burial vault which means that just beyond this uh, concrete is uh, the body of someone by the name of Florence Palmer Ackridge died in 1920. As a kid in my hometown cemetery, where my father's buried, uh, there was a uh, gated area that I was always drawn to, I guess it is. Um, in cemeteries, older cemeteries, uh, you will find these wrought iron, and in some cases wooden fences that um, separate these burial plots from others. And this one here looks quite interesting. Although everything, as I stated, is overgrown and really forgotten. And over here it seems to be some more above ground burial vaults. It's one, two, three, four of them. Munsell family, starting with, it's like Mary Bruce Marmaduke, 
Meredith M. Marmaduke. So we've got Marmadukes and Munsells. Uh, Warren Munsell and Bruce Marmaduke Munsell. Must be um, all in the family. This one is uh, as late as 1963 and it looks very, very old. Maybe about six years before I was born, this was put here. Goodness, it looks really, really old and decrepit. cemetery is in desperate need of attention <laughs> in the landscape department. Even though these plants around, you know, provide a little color in a place that would all usually look very dull, um, they still pose a risk for people who, like me, come in and uh, look for interesting stones, might come across a moccasin or either a rattlesnake, you never know in these places. Always good to be careful. I do note that the uh, ground is very spongy to the feet, uh, which leads me to believe that this area is probably infested with God knows how many bugs, and critters that call this place home. I'm always fascinated by the ironworks in his old cemetery. This right here says Pace, which I'm assuming is the family name. But it's really pretty. And the design that it has here. I'm sure there's a meaning behind it, possibly, maybe. I wonder if it works. appears to be. <laughs> Check it out. Even has small steps here. Here's a stone that appears to be broken. Very hard to read. The side of this raised grave is uh, chipping away. This appears to be the broken grave of Richard Floyd Drysdale, born in 1851. Actually, the same birthday, October the 23rd. How about that? You barely see it. October the 23rd, 1851. Died. It's very hard to read. March the 1st. Looks like 1868. 51, 61, so he, it's a young man. Saved a comrade and was, gosh, I can't read it. Let's see if you can read it. His noble virtues are engraved on his heart. Oh, it seems like my battery is going dead on me. Uh, I made it maybe about three quarters into the cemetery. But the rest will be still shots uh, that I 
call together and uh, share with you guys here online. Hickory Grove Cemetery. Green Cove Springs, Florida. Before I completely lose battery power, I wanted to carry you guys over to the end of the cemetery here along the wood's edge. And as you can see, oh, that was really damaged. Anytime they bury uh, someone right by a tree, that tree is known to grow, and boy has it. But as I was saying, it looks like the woods have encroached on the edge of the cemetery. Uh, this is leading me to believe that uh, no one really tends this area. As you can see there's a few old stones there. And as we come over here, notice that the edge of the woods, there's quite prominent stone. However, it's right on the edge and uh, the woods are quickly but surely encroaching into the uh, burial plot here. Daniel Tyler, 1929. Here's the trumpet vine flowers on the side that are uh, raised on this stone. Quite a pretty stone. See Granddaddy Spider there. <laughs> he calls it home. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me uh, in the Hickory Grove Cemetery. I wanted to uh, walk through and my batteries want to uh, go out, but I hope you enjoyed this little uh, tour of uh, history in Green Cove Springs, Florida. Watching over me Every night she flies the skies Count the time being divine when will it be my time? I'm tired of the same old pill I need something